hey guys so i want to do this video right because i've been seeing this tweet right i seen this tweet that it had me and it had other female rappers on it and they were talking about they were talking about if we could get birkins for the hermes store and there was also talking uh, there was also saying how we depreciate the value of a Hermes Birkin bag and I find that really interesting right because first thing first right I definitely could get a bag actually I got four bags today for the Hermes store that's one I don't want to brag but it's like don't even try it and second of all how do why is it that y'all asking female rappers if y'all could get a if they could get a bag from the Hermes store y'all don't do these to these white celebrities Y'all don't do these to this white celebrity, so why is it that y'all gotta be asking us? What the fuck? First of all, um, there's a perfect reason why they don't ask those white girls. It's because, let's just face it, most white girls ain't gonna be buying those expensive bags. Unless they're really rich. You know what I'm saying? Unless they really have a lot of money. But not even really rich women or white women are really buying these bags. You know. And as sad as it is. But once they find out a lot of hood rat ghetto people are buying shit. Most white girls don't want to be a part of that. For the most part. Who are upper class white chicks. You know the ones you see in Los Angeles and. Manhattan, New York, you know, the ones that are like, you know, really that living at, uh, what should I say? <clears throat> living a high class lifestyle. Now, the average bag, like I was saying in my last video, you know, for the cheapest bag of Birkins is $10,000, right? Um, the reason why they want you to buy these bags and promote them because they want to make money off of you, Cardi B. And she's starting to kind of wake up a little bit now realizing, well, why you're not asking these white girls to do it? Because you are a main attraction to black culture. And usually when a lot of girls, black and Latina culture, Latinas. Usually when Mornanas and Latinas will see this type of stuff, they're going to want to go for it. The ones that live in America, for the most part. Um, you are a front page runner up of female entitlement culture. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. But, um, you know, I have my other words of calling it, you know, slut whore culture for the most part. But everybody has their, their different definitions of what female, what this female culture, vulturism is all about. They want you to promote buying bags because you have a huge following base, Cardi B, number one. And number two is uh, you would generate a lot of money. Offset said this in his uh, one of his uh, little messages here. It says... Stop letting people on the internet tell y'all who can get Birkins at the store and how many Birkins you can get. Black people having access to luxury shouldn't be a debate. By the way, hip hop starts the trends. Yeah, I get it. Hip hop was all about trends and fashion. I grew up on that too. But the difference is offset is that throughout the 90s, I grew up off of investing money into black culture into black things sean john p diddy's clothing label uh rock aware that was jay-z black man uh the list goes on and on fubu that was a black made business but nowadays you see a lot of blacks who are celebrities spending their money into other cultures the european side of these cultures such as you know, Italy, Germany, anything that's a little bit of, I should say, royalty that costs overly expensive. But you notice that, yeah, the clothes of the black community were expensive too, but not this high as it is now. See, this is what Ice Cube was talking about is capital. We don't own any capital. We're giving our way money to other cultures without 
ever investing it into our own black businesses and you see why and you see where our money goes <laughs> it just makes you want to be like it just makes you want to brag like bitch you, you know who the fuck you're talking to but no i'm not even gonna take it there you know why you can't take it there because you're being controlled and you cannot take it there and they gave you a warning they gave you many warnings okay <laughs> now I'm just gonna start off with Cardi B's nails like just gonna say this right now I listen uh, <laughs> all right I'm gonna I'm talk about that later but anyways man let's just get back down to the, the subject of matter man I understand where Cardi B is coming from from this aspect because it makes you want to talk to the like what we black we could afford it too but see they're not in reference to you or maybe upper class white people are in reference to you because maybe these are upper class whites that's why i try to tell people there's different types of elites in this million dollar bracket club the upper rights don't have millions the upper whites have billions in these big corporates and these big industries okay a person like offset and cardi b is small fry even though they've got multi-millions of dollars to us is a lot of money to them it's not and also to people in the rich bracket it isn't you ever heard of the old expression got to keep up with the joneses but listen these two would never get respect regardless or not because upper class whites who are in the multi-billion dollar racket look at these two as being just some ghetto hood rat little hood rat scums that you know your little baby money don't mean nothing to me look at jay-z for crying out loud jay-z is in the billion dollar bracket now a person like jay-z would be in the small money bracket compared to upper class elite whites who make multi-billions of dollars now they will respect a person like jay-z and possibly dr dre that's in those billion dollar brackets now, in this case of or form, these two won't get the respect that they're looking for. So I get what Cardi B is talking about, but at the same time, why even bother caring? And just be yourself. This is why the fans loved you for who you are. Don't sell out. Just be who you are. Even though you ratchet, and you know. I don't agree with most of your lyrics or anything like that, but I got to give it respect where respect is due. At least you're being yourself. And um, another thing is that they say that we depreciate the value. Actually, we add value because in hip hop, when we mention brands in hip hop, they shit go up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did Cardi B just say something that was so logical? Oh, my God. Oh my God, there is hope. There is hope. She just said that actually hip hop makes fashion valuable because this shit goes up. Now I understand it. It wasn't in the most professional terms here, but she actually made a lot of sense when she said in other forms, okay? When the hip hop culture, which is the black culture, actually buy these people's products or outside of black community products we actually have some we actually add some value to it for for instance i was talking about this a long time ago when i made a video about tommy hilfiger tommy hilfiger wasn't a great name brand when it first came out nobody gave two shits about tommy hilfiger until blacks in the 90s started to invest into tommy hilfiger and they made him rich then what kind of fucked up here with tommy mr tommy pull my finger this is what happened with Mr. Tommy Hilfiger, okay? Mr. Tommy Hilfiger said a racial comment towards the African-American community saying that I do not support black people or something to that matter. So this is what happens. And this is what made Tommy Hilfiger become a flatline disaster. Blacks were listening very well to the comments that he's illustrated talking about he didn't make these clothes designed for blacks. It was really designed for Europeans and Eurocentric people. He wanted Eurocentric people to model his clothes. And that was the truth. 
It's always been like that. Blacks just decided to go overseas who are who are wealthy, rich, and discover these new items that are made in Italy, Italian, and Germany. And I find it kind of funny with this is pertaining to politics, and this woman so happens to be a Democrat. Now, I don't mean to get too much into politics, but this she's favoring more and speaking more on the Republican side. But her mind is all corrupted thinking, oh my God, Republicans, they're, just, they're rich people that just try to steal from the poor. When in fact, uh, you're rich and you steal from a lot of your fans all the time with your music of trying to <sighs> seduce a nation of women to twerkism and guggling nuts and balls or ding-dongs in their mouth. Whap, 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 bass, booster. I mean, you said it yourself. I mean, hey, you are the reasons of a lot of teenagers who are looking up to you, right? <laughs> I mean, hey, you got some 30-year-olds in 40s. Shit, 50-year-olds looking up to you. So, hey, it is what it is, right? But anyways, she actually made some sense, man, despite her fashion wardrobe wearing self. But listen. She actually made some sense in regarding to this, you know, and it's true. But people like you and people like Offset who are in the higher main industry can set better examples instead of using that money that you're making right now to empower your community to get more money. Everybody would be multimillionaires, man, if that could happen. But let's just face it. Everybody is greedy and everybody wants to one up on one somebody. So I don't really consider any of these rich people part of the black community because they're not. Just think about it. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but the truth of the matter is this. Both these two have graduated to success. To success. Which a lot of us probably won't even reach that type of money to say we can blow off $128,662.50 on some handbags. And at the same time, Cardi B's going to also talk about getting into her ego shit. So it's like she's very confusing at times. Now there's times that she could be actually logical, which is scary. And then she goes back to her dumb nigga shit. And you're like, well, what the fuck? Everything you just said just didn't make any fucking sense, did it? It just seems like she's trying to actually get a grasp of reality, but she's still stuck on the nigga shit. And maybe it's Offset is the one that's trying to control her to be in this person. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. One of them is the narcissist and one of them isn't. And to be honest with you, as crazy as it is, I think Offset is the narcissist. He's acting and playing a role like nothing is, you know, he's he's the one that's being hurt by this woman and yeah, all this other bullshit. Not in a way, but he goes around, turns around and simps for her. Buys her a $500,000 car after a divorce. Now, who buys an ex-wife a $500,000 car? He's simping for something, man. Something just don't seem right here. I'm just, I don't know. Somebody's using somebody. And I'm kind of confused sometimes who it is. If it's Cardi B using him or if it's Offset using Cardi B. Let me tell you something. You can actually Google when I did Bodak Yellow. I didn't start at no Louboutin and everything. But when Bodak Yellow came out, you could actually Google that their sales went up a thousand plus percent. I don't, I don't know what it was, but it, it they definitely made an article out of it. Um... When I did, I like it like that. Um, and I said, I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. They shit went up too, and that's why they worked with me this year. Yeah, but you make perfect sense, man. We get all that. We honestly get all that. You're you're so you're a self promoter, man. 
And there's a lot of chicks that are self-promoters. There's a lot of chicks underground that are self-promoters. And they don't even have to be celebrities. Hell, there's chicks on Instagram that are self-promoters every day. They're, they're promoting their bodies and themselves. And they're getting a lot of likes. And they're in competitions with all the other girls. Because they're trying to get noticed. Just like you, Cardi B. They're all doing the same thing. All these normal girls that I see. Girls I used to go to in high school. They're out here, uh, you know chasing after likes and everybody you know all this other crazy shit just trying to get noticed because they were trying to become the next thing let's just face it everybody wants to be a celebrity because everybody sees the lifestyle of what you guys have and everybody wants it so of course when you mention this you're going to have a huge following of ladies and and also people paying attention to buy your products um when Migos did Versace, I saw everybody. It took like two weeks for everybody. They were coming with the Versace shirts, Versace's uh, freaking glasses, Versace pants, Versace sneakers, Versace socks, fucking Versace grills, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? Like hip hop, we start trend. And it's, when y'all say that we devalue shit, no, we actually add value. And another thing is, like, it's like, why want a black girl, why want a Hispanic girl have a bag? Y'all have to question it. Whether, oh, is it fake? Or she's a scammer? Or she hasn't, oh, she fucking a nigga for it. There's a lot of boss ass bitches out here. There's a lot of boss ass bitches that own their company. There's realtors, there's PRs, there's uh, A&Rs, there's doctors, there's dentists, and the list go fucking on. A lot of Instagram models, they're getting like $20,000 a fucking post. Like, Facts. this bitch is just getting money out Facts. here. And let me tell you something. If you're a regular girl, you don't got to break your neck to have a burger. What did I say a long time ago that this, okay, well, she said in her terms, there's regular bitches out here getting money on the internet. Y'all could do the only line fans. There's chicks out here making 20 regular normal chicks, man. The Instagram model bitches is making. I've been trying to tell y'all, man. There's a lot of even like today's girls right now. There's so much opportunity for women to make so much money right now that there isn't for men. There's a lot of opportunities for y'all to make money. They've paid the way for y'all to do your own prostitution and be your own porn star and make your own funds, man. Women have control over America. They've taken control. It, America is just a pussy. It's just one big pussy waiting to get fucked. That's America. It's just a big pussy waiting to get fucked. Because it's owned by pussy. Just think about it. Everything that costs money is somehow related to pussy. Niggas buy expensive cars, expensive jewelry because of pussy. You think men would really give two shits about having a nice brand new car? Like an exotic car? No, because they know that if they get an exotic car, it will upper their game on getting the high quality pussy. Like a Cardi B, I guess. You know, fake ass, fake titties. The ones that everybody, you know, slap on their body and shit, them girls. But y'all know what I'm saying. Bitches is getting money out here regardless, man. Instagram like crazy you don't even have to be a supermodel hell you don't even have to be on some horse shit and go out and suck some dick if you want to that's if you want to you can still make some money make some quick money that's what I'm saying there's so many opportunities out here doing the dirty shit and hustling for women but hey that's their choice a Birkin don't make you a nigga don't give a fuck if you have a Birkin or an Aldo purse my nigga they still gonna fucks with you and a lot of bitches they don't even be wearing labels and they have, they swaggy as fuck. They mix that Fashion Nova with the Zara and the H&M amazingly. There's a lot of bitches out here that be fly as fuck but swagless. Fly swagless hoes. Mm. The fuck? So don't ever feel like you got to compare yourself. Don't ever feel like you got to go to Canal Street and get a fake one to keep. See, I get what Cardi B is saying. See, Cardi B is a full-blown feminist. And I, I'm going to tell you this right now tell you this right now women have a support system they have a huge support system that supports them men don't have that this is why I do videos and particularly for helping men because men don't have a support system see look at Cardi B saying that you don't ever feel like you need to get one of these bags ladies because da, 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 there's bitches that are swag or swagless and there's bitches who who 
have it who don't got no swag or some shit like that. I don't know. But the metaphor that she was putting it out, it really made a lot of sense. And good God, I can't believe I'm saying this. But Cardi B was speaking with some logic, folks. When it comes down to women. And a lot of women have the right words to say to other women. But then they completely start doing the opposite and not setting better examples. Maybe she is now. Maybe she is now because she's with one guy. Maybe this is the mature Cardi B. This is the growth. This is probably the breakthrough that Cardi B needs. But I think maybe she might have to separate herself from Offset. Because within this relationship, I don't know. I just just kind of just, just, just having the conversation. I don't really know much about Offset. I don't really hear him talk much. I don't know if he can. I don't even know if he's really articulate. I don't really hear him talk much. I don't. I don't know. Does he? Does he sound like a smart guy? When he does that goofy ass shit on IG, I don't know, man. I can't tell if he's if he's just playing it off, or if that's really who he is. I don't know. I, I, I somehow I doubt that though. I think he just does the dumb shit for shits and giggles and in, in entertainment. You know what I'm saying? But besides all that, man, shout out to Cardi B so far. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I got to give credit where credit's due, folks, man. And normally I like to rag on this bitch, but I got to give her credit, man. She's speaking some good shit right now. So shout out to Cardi B. Up. Like this, the internet life, don't compare yourself to nobody to the internet. This internet shit is fake. So in other words, are you fake too? Is that what you're trying to say? But I don't know. Hey, shout out to you. Cardi B speaking some real shit, though. I've been trying to tell us. I'm so glad that Cardi B is actually, you know, it's time to grow up, man. After some time, it's time to grow up. But you got to understand, these celebrities are doing shit for entertainment, for shits and giggles, and trying to get money, even if it's promoting fuckery, buffoonery, coonery bullshit to try to get money and ratings. I know this is what they do, but people are into this shit because they, they think it's funny, man. This is reality TV at its finest. But Cardi B's trying to tell y'all something, man. Don't try to be like me, man. Try to be yourselves, but it's kind of hard when you have all these thousands of women. They don't care. They're just looking up to you. You got all these Instagram models and shit. They all looking up to you, man. They all want to be the next Cardi B. They all want to be the next Nicki Minaj because they all just wet behind their WAP in training it's kind of hard you know but at the same time I, I get it though shout out to you but i still don't like the fuckery shit that you promoted but i get it you gotta get your bag everybody got this everybody got down the internet i went to the club i don't see nobody with it i don't see nobody with it and that's okay because you're still a bad fucking bitch period I'm not mad at nobody for having a Birkin, right? But us rappers, entertainers, NBA players, people with money, we would never put that much energy into a black designer who had bags that we should be piping up. And that's 100% correct, though. Because if you look at it, though, if black people were to invest more money into themselves, that money is, is called capital. See, they can use that money to uh, build other things so other people get involved. Because, you know, rappers right now, after the rapping days are over, like Jim Jones, what are you left with? Because all you know was just rapping, coming up from the hood, coming up from where you got to be, you know what I'm saying? So now after that, you got to do other things to get your money going up. Because, you know, hey, rappers also have a retirement date. There's always some new shit going on that you gotta you gotta keep up with the young kids. But come on now, what does a, a man, you know, in his forties and shit, got in common with somebody who's eighteen, nineteen, twenty years old and shit in the streets of Harlem when he's an OG in Harlem? Come on, man, you don't got anything in common. So you gotta come up with other things. That's why blacks need to also they need to invest in other things, man. So that way, they can uh, fall back on other stuff. Like, God damn it, what the hell? That's why I was talking about in my last video, man, with the fashion, man. Rock aware. You know what I'm saying? Or was it not? It was this one. I'm sorry. With rock aware, uh, which is black owned. Uh, 
Sean John, even though, you know, despite my views on Diddy, but that was also uh, black owned. You know what I'm saying? But we wouldn't really invest in our shit. We would, hey, I didn't see no really no rappers buying Sean John shit. It was just us, the consumers. I didn't see too many of the rappers really contribute. I mean, back in the '90s, I guess they did. Some of them did, and some of them didn't. You know what I'm saying? They actually did buy their own shit. I'm sorry. Let me let me rephrase that back. Fubu and shit. Yeah, they all they they did. But you know what? After some times, I don't know. They sold out businesses. The white man bought their shit out. Because they were just looking at the money, looking at the money, but they weren't looking at the foundation of the crops that get you the money. They were just looking at, hey, let me just get this quick cash. But Jim Jones is absolutely right. We would never invest in our own businesses as black people. We wouldn't invest in our own businesses as black people. You know, makes you kind of think. We would never put that much energy into a black designer who had bags that we should be piping up to make better than Birkin or make more popular than Birkin. You dig? Fuck the whole Birkin debate. Fuck it. It ain't nothing new. Niggas been doing that shit. Why don't we do something for ourselves? Who got the flyest bags as a black designer? Hit me up. Let me see if I can help pipe you up. Some Look at that. Look at that entrepreneurship, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that entrepreneurship giving from Jim Jones. He's actually telling y'all, whoever is black who got something black creative, let me know what you got. Let me see what you got. And I'll put some investment into it. See, those of y'all who are on Instagram who I'm pretty sure there's a lot of y'all who are clothing designers and shit like that as well. He who are black. He's willing to put the money into the community. You see what I'm saying? One thing I can say this to about blacks, right? Or anybody else in this world, not just black people, but anybody, but in particular black, because we talk about, you know, black empowerment over here a little bit. If you put your mind into something that you love the most in the craft, just like I do with these videos, it will shine. So despite the fact of the haters that try to, the powers to be that try to control me from YouTube, you know, want to reduce my subscribers because the subscribers are popping up, you know, or, you know, want to reduce my comments and reduce my likes and stuff. Come on, man. Get it together, man. At the end of the day, real recognize real. And when you speak the truth and you speak the realness, ain't nobody could stop you. You dig. Fly shit though. That's the difference. Don't hit me up with no boo boo. I can't pipe up no boo boo. <laughs> Send me some fly shit. Where I can have other fly people like, oh, what kind of fly bag that is, or what kind of fly this that is. All yeah. right. Let's pipe up. All right. Fuck Birkin. Chrissy got a bunch of them shits too. Birkin. I hate them shits. They're too expensive. Fa Fuck y'all and Birkin. Facts. Facts.